Hi, so I kind of just wanted to hop on here real quick and just make a quick little health update. I remember back in the days when I used to post like random one take videos and I thought I'd do that today. So I recently had a heart procedure done. It's called a right heart catheterization. It is a procedure where they stick a thin tube into one of your main arteries and take it all the way to your heart just to measure pressures and a whole bunch of other medical terms I forgot um what else so that day was kind of crazy it just happened it was on the 20th it is the 27th of March by the way 2020 so yes we're in the middle of the coronavirus quarantine crisis world pandemic crisis it's not something to laugh about but you know anyways so yeah I had that procedure done it was originally going to go in through the artery on my arm. Which I got the incisions and everything. They poked me like six times because they couldn't find the artery. Like it kept disappearing every time that I was breathing. So they... So yeah, they managed to put it in at some point. But I guess they lost it when it was inside like the tube. Because first they poke in with the needle. And then they go in with the tube. And I guess that they lost it along the way and they were like, nope, pull it out. Let's try a different area, which is the groin. Like, let's say the armpit of the leg, that area, not necessarily the crotch, but around there. So it was going to go through there, like up the artery all the way to the heart. But even with an ultrasound, they couldn't find my artery. I have to burn. So they went to their next best spot, which was Monic. That was a nightmare. Like, that was traumatizing. That was terrifying. They had to stick. Okay, so they poked me in the neck. Then through there, they stuck the little thin tube down. And all the way to my heart. Inside the heart. Like, it goes into the heart. But this procedure was rough. For one, they didn't even put me to sleep. Like, I felt it all. So, I felt a little prick. And I felt when the thicker tube went in. And it just went like, oh. And then it started going down. When it went into my throat. And then I could feel the lump going down. I started bawling. Not like baby crying. But, you know, I was like tearing up. I was trying to hold it together. It was hard. Because I got really, 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 really bad anxiety. And I could feel it and it was really bad. It felt, when it was in my throat, it, feel, it felt exactly how it feels when you swallow and you're sick. Like a really bad throat ache. So that's exactly how I felt it, but 10 times stronger. So it was gross. Like just thinking about it, I was thinking about it earlier today and I was like, oh, I can't believe I went through that. But yeah, they just stick it down your throat. But it was weird because when it was in my chest, I didn't feel anything. Like, it was fine. Like, whatever. And when it hit my heart, I felt a little thump into my heart. And then I felt it go through. But it didn't hurt. Like, I felt nothing. So, anyways, back to when they were here. And they started crying. Uh, one of the doctors that was, like, watching my breathing and everything asked me, like, are you in pain? Do you feel pressure? And I was like, I was just nodded because I couldn't talk. I was crying. So they said, let's put some numbing cream on her. I thought they were going to put like a cream because they said, let's put numbing cream on the incision. And I was like, what's that going to do? The pain is in my throat. But they injected something that heated up my whole neck and I felt pretty good afterwards. I paused it. I had to take a break because I will get to that right now. So yeah, that whole procedure took... It was supposed to be like a 30 to 45 minute procedure and it took them like two hours with me because of my veins being sassy and hiding away and not wanting to be poked. They wasted so much time on that. But yeah, that happened. <laughs> I'm pausing it. So... I don't know exactly what the result of that was because they didn't tell me anything. They just told me that I have severe hypertension, severe pulmonary hypertension, which means like high blood pressure, 
caused because of the hole in my heart. So it's not necessarily like on its own. So I don't know. I didn't ask any questions because I'm dumb. I just wanted to get out of the hospital. I was bored and in pain. And I didn't ask the right questions that I should have. So I came home and I've been doing like all the educating myself. Like I've just been reading up on it, watching videos and everything. And apparently, high, uh, what's it called? Pulmonary hypertension is an incurable disease. But I'm just confused. Like, am I having this for life or am I just having this while my heart is in bad condition? Like, I'm not sure because there are stages to it, but I don't feel as severe as people say that I should be feeling. So it's, I don't know, it's weird. I should probably talk to my doctor about it rather than reading it up on Google <laughs> and believing everything I read on the internet. But if it was to go untreated, there is a life expectancy of three to five years. I don't know how many years I've had it for, but I feel like it's been a while because I've been having problems breathing for like the past five years. So who knows? I don't. That's for sure. But yeah, that's why I keep pausing the video because I, I'm rambling and I'm wasting so much energy and I need to breathe. Also, it's like 4 a.m. I cut off the video and I was supposed to pause it. Now I'm going to have to edit it together. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Anyways, that was it. That was just the whole update that I just wanted to post. Even if nobody watches it, like, it's cool. I want to keep it for myself, like, just to be like, ah, so that's what 28-year-old Cindy was on about. And then there was the coronavirus thing going on, which I'm not sick of. I don't have coronavirus. I don't know anybody that has it, but hopefully nobody that I know gets it. Or nobody in general. <laughs> That's it. Um, I also made this video in Spanish, but it's going to take a little longer to edit because I talked a little bit more detailed, I feel, in Spanish. And it was a little more rough because there's some words that I don't know. So, yeah, if you want to watch that too, you can to just see what I added here or any I probably forgot things on both videos, but yeah. Bye.